again, my name's Andy and I've been with commercial recreation for about eight years and I have my my teammates are on here as well. Pat, Bill, Mike, Valerie and Kathy. So you're you're well uh, you're well surrounded everybody. If you have questions, pop in as a chat chat stream by using the chat bubble upper middle um, uh, part of your screen there. And again, we are going to be recording. So so if you do miss something, we'll send you the link either tomorrow or sometime sometime next week. We'll definitely follow up with that. All right, so at about two minutes after here, I think we we could probably fire it up. We're going to again. The format's going to be three different subjects. We're going to start with good, clean fun. It's going to be a short video of Mimi pre-recorded speaking. Uh, I did that just in case I didn't feel good today or something else came up. So it's pre-recorded. It's a very short video. It's about eight minutes, and then we'll do a Q&A. And then also after that, the same the same format for the other two subjects. OK, I think it's uh, I think it's probably t time to start here. Valerie, you can queue up the first one. Good, clean fun. Hello, I'm Andy with Commercial Recreation Specialist here today to talk to you about good, clean fun for camp in 2021. It's about disinfecting and then protecting to keep campers safe, staff safe, and to keep camp open. First, disinfecting. CDC has plenty to choose from. The list is over 500 strong, so you have many that you can make a selection from. But the question that comes up a lot for us is whether or not they're safe. Are they safe for the eyes, inhalation, what about ingestion or the skin? What's gonna happen to campers or staff if you use a certain chemical? Well, you can find out. Doing a Google search for safety data sheets will get you the information that you're looking for. And I do recommend that you do it for whatever you're currently using or considering using. Some disinfectants are potential health hazards, and that's why you should do a search. Take bleach, for example. The EPA rates it at a category one for serious eye damage and skin corrosion. Ingestion burns within the upper digestive and respiratory tracts can also occur. It's classified as hazardous by OSHA, and it can cause harmful VOCs when used with other cleaners, although people use it ubiquitously and quite cavalierly. Peroxide, very similarly, it's, re, it's rated at an EPA category one in several measurements. The EPA rates on a one to four scale, one being the worst, four being the most favorable. Contrast that with concrobium. It gets a category four rating from the EPA across all measurements, so it's very safe. And you have peace of mind in knowing you don't have to use PPE. It's NSF certified for use in USDA food facilities. It's not flammable, not corrosive. There are no ammonia, dyes, chlorines, or glutaraldehydes used. So it's safe, but it also works. It's on CDC's list N, approved for use to kill SARS-CoV-2. Where can you use it? Pretty much anywhere, outside in playgrounds or splash pads, or inside in the cafeteria or the bathrooms, countertops, communal areas, you name it, it's safe. A little bit more here on concrobium. My name's Troy Olson. I own the 1029 Bar Smack Shack Restaurant in Northeast Minneapolis, Minnesota. It is very important for me to find a product like concrobium because if I keep this place safe, we can stay open. 1029 Bar has been here since 1892. We're known for our great food, our karaoke, I ended up with Concrobium through a buddy of mine. It's plant-based. It is food safe also. We do our normal cleaning every night, and then we spray with Concrobium. You can spray the bathrooms, the floors, ceilings, chairs, pretty much the whole bar. There is no residue, no lingering odors. You don't have to do anything once you're done. Put away your sprayer and go home. I would recommend Concrobium 100%. We want to get through this. You should be doing this. Well, he's definitely right. We want to get through this for sure. So that's Concrobium. That's the one in the one two punch against microbials. And then we're on to protecting. After disinfecting, Playtech will provide an uninterrupted barrier against bacteria, viruses, mold mildew, yeast, and algae. Many different applications for Playtech. For example, use it before the season starts on any waterfront activities like kayaks or stand-up paddleboards or waterfront inflatables. 
spray it at the beginning of the season, and it'll protect against algae during use during the season. Similarly, after the season is done, anything that's going into winterized storage, reapply Playtech or apply it on other items to protect against mold during winterized storage. It'll save you money and time. You can spray it on, fog it on, or wipe it on. It lasts up to 90 days. In the high traffic areas, I recommend reapplying after about 60 days. A little more about Playtech. Playtech is the first antimicrobial solutions company created by recreation specialists for the recreation and institutional marketplace. Combining over 60 years industry experience with patented biochemists to create effective, safe, affordable solutions to catastrophic contamination issues. Playtech products are water-based solutions providing constant and uninterrupted protection against germs, bacteria, viruses, and other harmful antigens. Playtech's technology provides an antimicrobial coating that can be easily and safely applied to both porous and non-porous surfaces. When applied, Playtex products form a molecular bond with materials substrate, creating a microbiostatic antimicrobial nanoshield, which destroys existing organisms while forming a barrier against intruding organisms. Negatively charged pathogens are then attracted and upon contact are ruptured, causing the microorganism to die. Safe, non-toxic, and easy to apply. Just spray, mist, fog, or wipe onto any surface. No rinse or further action is required, even for food surface contact. Protection begins in as soon as 60 seconds and remains effective up to 90 days. To find out more about how Playtech can help, just email us at info at playtechsolutions.com. Okay, that's Playtech. And like Concrobium, it's also very safe. Use it outside in playgrounds, or splash pads, picnic tables, benches, or inside in the cafeteria. It's used at hospitals and nursing homes, for example, so it's very safe, like concrobium. That's it, that's the one-two punch. Disinfect with concrobium, then protect with Playtech. Keep campers safe, staff safe, keep camp open. Lastly, I'd like to introduce a program called Pro Plus. Pro Plus offers many benefits to camps, like pro financing, for example. You get exclusive, to camps in 2021, 0% interest financing. So you get products now and pay your balance in August. It offers pro rewards where you earn up to 18% in additional products on each purchase you make, and it's flexible. You can use your, your rewards dollars how you want. And then lastly, pro specials, great camp exclusive specials, and you can purchase them on the pro financing program. It's free to join Pro Plus, but deadlines apply. So ask your CRS specialist to sign you up today. Thank you, everybody. Have a great 2021 camp season. I'll stick around for questions. Okay, so that's our, our one-two punch against microbials. Uh, that's Concrobium, which is a disinfectant, and then Playtech, which is a, a, a broad spectrum protectant. And um, and uh, I'd love to be able to take any questions about them. We, we commonly get certain questions. And so if you don't have any off the top of your head, we certainly can cue some up. I see that Christina um, has one in there in the chat and it's whether or not you can spray concrobium on the inflatables that are on the water. And the answer is yes. Yeah, concrobium is very safe. Uh, you might have caught that. It's registered at a four across all measurements uh, with the EPA. And again, it's that's the, the least or the most favorable toxicity rating that they even elicit. Uh, it's based in time. It's made from it's made from time. And so it's a botanical. Uh, so so very green, very safe. Um, and then I would uh, I would uh, allow it to dry, of course, before anybody plays on it. But that doesn't take very long, uh, especially if, if there's a if there's a breeze that day. Um, and then I see and I see Rebecca has got one in the in the in the thread there, uh, whether you can use one and not the other or is best practice to use both. Great question. So uh, <clears throat> concrobium is the disinfectant and Playtech is the protectant. So it is important to disinfect first and then after after you've disinfected, then you put on put on a protectant. And the, the distinction between a disinfectant and the protectant is that the disinfectant like concrobium or whatever it is you use uh, will kill existing biofilm. Anything that's already on the picnic tables or or in the restrooms on the countertops or in the toilets um, or on the picnic benches outside or you know the playground surfaces. So disinfect first and then you apply a protectant. Sometimes just to follow on that too as well, I get a question about 
can, once Playtech is, is uh, applied and dried, can you then re-disinfect? Uh, and the answer is yes. In fact, you can even spray things like a UV protectant after Playtech has been applied and, and, and dried. So um, Playtech won't leach. Um, it's because it forms a covalent bond uh, once it's sprayed on in any substrate that's being used on. It starts sharing electrons with whatever it's, again, whatever it's sprayed on, so it won't leach. So running water on it, other chemicals on it, it doesn't rub it off. Um, that said, and, uh, and I mentioned in the video there in the high trafficked areas, like say for example in the bathroom sinks, restroom sinks, um, you know if 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 hands hands typically touch countertops, and after about sixty days, I would probably reapply in that kind of high touch area. Similarly, on like the sides of a slide, um, you know, on a, on the playground slide, I would reapply um, after about sixty days. So hopefully that that makes some sense. Kathy, maybe I'll defer to you if you don't mind. Uh, I see some sure. questions coming in. If I defer to you on that. Yeah, sure. We have some questions about life jackets. Um, okay. From Heidi and also, or I'm sorry, from Christina and Stacy. You're both curious. Um, do you recommend either for life jackets and how often? Yeah, great question. Um, so, and I'm, I'm going to assume the question is about Playtech. Um, is that right? I'll, I'll assume that, I guess. And, and um, yes, you can use you can use Playtech on on life jackets. In fact, what I would recommend there is that you 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 put a bucket out and you you dunk you literally dunk uh, each vest in, and after you dunk a vest, take it out, put it on a hanger, and then let it drip back into a drip pan. Catch those drippings because you can reuse them. So Playtech is it works on porous and non-porous surfaces alike, and that the. Um, a life vests are a great candidate for the use of Playtech. It will protect against the algae and the mold buildup, as well as bacteria and viruses. So yes, yeah, you you can use it on that on life vests. Great application for it. Okay, um, we've got another question. Oh well, let's talk about life jackets. Continue here. We have another question on life jackets. Would that last 90 days on a life jacket? Yes, um, that's a great question. Uh, you could, I would say the sweet spot there is probably 60 to 90 days. It certainly could last up to 90. Um, I do, I do recommend in the higher touch areas in, in life jackets, you could probably deem a little higher touch area too. Uh, I'd probably go about 60 days in there. <clears throat> Good question. But again, I would, again, Playtech is, it's on, it's for porous and non-porous substances. So life jackets is a great candidate. And just so you can save some money, um, when you dunk, you know, dunk a life vest, hang it on a on a rack, um, and then catch the drippings. So you can you can use those drippings. Great. Thanks, Andy. Um, yes. We do have a question from Mar Marsha. Isn't spraying bad for leaving particles in suspension? So it would be probably talking about aerosolization, um, and and you'll get it if you're if you're spraying outside, you're going to get some you're going to get some drift. But again, both of these are very safe, and so. Um, that's something if you if you want to try to minimize, sure, that's that's okay to minimize that, but um, they are both very safe. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I have another question here. Um, what does it mean to be on the CDC list N? Yeah, so CDC's list N was created specifically to uh, concatenate and, and to get to the public what's been approved to kill SARS-CoV-2. Couple different ways you can get on that list or a chemical get on that list, and that is A to be directly tested against SARS-CoV-2, or B to have been proven to to kill a virus that's harder to kill than SARS-CoV-2. So there's a couple different ways to get on it. And concrobium is on CDC's list N. Playtech, Playtech is not on CDC's list N, and that's because it's not a disinfectant. And again, the distinction is that a disinfectant is used to kill existing biofilm. Once that biofilm is killed, then the protectant comes along afterward. Okay, uh, we've got a question from Rebecca. How about toys? So I disinfect then protect. Do I have to disinfect after every use? That's a that's a great question. You know, your field guide. Um, I've actually read every page of it. It's long. Um, will will recommend after every use, up to after every use. You know, and so that it's gonna it's gonna come. You're gonna have to make your judgment call on that. Um, you can certainly use it on toys. Playtech, I'm assuming the question is about Playtech, um, or I could, I guess I'll assume both. The, both these would be safe. Concrobian, the disinfectant, and Playtech, the uh, protectant, can be used on, on, on toys, if you will. Um, and, and you can, I'll make the distinction, you can disinfect after you've protected. 
um, I would I would sort of defer to you about how much those toys are being used and you know what what kind of additional protectant you want you want to give. So you disinfect first, then you protect and you certainly can then disinfect right on top of Playtech after you've you've added the Playtech. OK, um, got a question from Marsha. Um, what is this product made of? And I'm not sure if she's referring to Concrobium or Playtech, but sure. cover both. Yeah, so um, the active ingredients uh, in Concrobium is 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 uh, it's time. It's time all is is the, the ingredient. We could actually send you the safety data sheet on both of them um, if, if you're interested. I see your, your Marsha, thank you. I see that you're looking at both. And then um, Playtech is actually it's a quaternary ammonium compound. And if I were to try to pronounce it for you, I definitely would butcher it because it's about this long. Um, but I'm happy happy to share with you the SDS sheets on on of them after after we're done. If you're uh, if you're open to that. Okay, thanks. The quaternary man. ammonium compounds have been have been around for a long time, um, and we're bringing it to the recreation. Uh, recreation markets. Um, in fact, you could in some textiles even these days uh, you can find it. It's it's it, it comes with the shirt, for example, um, and it's good up to about 30 washings. So the 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 technology has been around for quite some time, many, many years, de decades. In fact, we're, we're out there using it now, introducing it to the recreation market. OK, thanks, Andy. We have another question here. Um, are there different types of sprayers for these chemicals, more portable or less? Yeah, great question. Thank you, Ryan. So I would say the entry level uh, sprayer would be a pump sprayer, just a hand pump sprayer, uh, $30, $40. That's the benefit. It's 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 not much of an investment. The I guess the disbenefit is that as you use the pump sprayer, the efficiency sort of wears down as, as the pressure uh, releases, right? So you don't necessarily get a consistent spray, consistent consistent efficiency. Um, but again, the benefits that it's 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 uh, very cheap. Uh, from there, you can graduate up to a battery operated pump sprayer. Those are really nice, especially if you're um, trying to hit a specific spot, um, like in you know uh, tough to reach area for mold, for example. Um, that's a really nice, nice option. Um, there are a couple of other ones, a fogger, for example, then um, really efficient misting because uh, it's very fine particulates and that's great for coverage. The one the one caveat with a fogger, though, is that if you're if you're outside, you can get a lot of drift. What kind of and kind of relates back to a question that was asked earlier. Um, so I, I don't always recommend foggers unless you're just going to be using them indoors. The the optimal one, if it's in the budget, if you can do it, is an electrostatic sprayer. And the reason it's it's optimal, although it will it will cost more. I've seen them starting about five, six, seven hundred dollars, and they definitely go up from there. I've seen them far costlier than that. But the benefit is that they come out the particulates, the particles come out charged, and so they adhere much more quickly to the substrate, so you get less drift, less waste. Um, so electrostatic sprayers would be my recommendation if it's in if it's in the budget. Otherwise, the, the second one I do is a battery operated pump sprayer. Okay. Thanks, Andy. Um, got one more question. Um, you may have covered this. Um, after applying Playtech, how long should we wait before the kids can play on the equipment? Yeah, another good question. So it, as soon as it's dried, it's ready. So it doesn't take very long. Uh, it's uh, it dries within seconds um, and if it's outside it'll probably dry even a little faster uh, than if it if you were inside so right when it's dry then it's ready it's formed that bond and it's ready to go okay okay i think we've come to on um, the end of the questions thanks so we're ready to start the next next video yeah that's that's great so excellent um hang in there so the uh, the next one is covid friendly programming and um, so I'm hoping that with this one, you'll be inspired with some creativity, some some ideas. You know, even if you don't work with us on on some of these, um, we do have our, our. You'll see our products are 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 in there. But whether or not you work with us, I think you're going to find some some ideas uh, uh, built into this. I'm going to try to bake it in. And uh, looking forward to hearing your feedback on this. Thanks for the questions for this first uh, session too. I really appreciate that. So as we go through this next one, feel free to, to throw some some things into the chat. And I'll offer this too. I'll stick around after the hours up and I'll answer any questions that, that are still remaining and um, if anybody has any. So all right with that, I think we'll jump into COVID friendly programming. I'm Andy with Commercial Recreation Specialist here to talk to you about 
COVID friendly programming ideas from CRS. As we know from the ACA, it's going to be all about the NPIs this year and really multi layering those NPIs. Uh, the metaphor that I've heard is each of them is like a, a slice of Swiss cheese. Uh, every one of them having some some holes, but when multi layered, then those holes tend to be covered up. Well, CRS can actually help with several of them. Uh, we're all about being outdoors, of course. And today I'm going to share with you some modifying activities so, so it'll fit right into uh, the NPIs, as well as share some distancing and cohorting or potting friendly ideas for you. And we'll get into cleaning and disinfecting, and then I have something to share right at the end as well, in addition to all this. So again, I'm going to share some ideas with you today, but won't be able to cover everything that we can share with you. So if you want to connect with, with me at the end, I'll take some questions uh, and or you can you can reach out to your CRS specialist here and they can help with other ideas. OK, well, to help me illustrate, I'm going to um, I've enlisted the help of uh, the two owners here at CRS, Camper Run and Camper Rich. So on to COVID friendly waterfront program. We're going to start with the water here. Many camps have inflatables. Not everyone, of course, but for those that do, I think you'll appreciate some of these ideas here. With the camps that we work with, a lot of them have their, their inflatables in a circuit type layout. Well, the first idea to share with you today uh, in modifying an activity would be to break up the circuits. Making smaller circuits really lends well to moving cohorts through those circuits, right? So for example, as cohort one is on circuit one, and cohort two on circuit two, cohort three on three, as they move through and the next cohort comes in, the first cohort that was on a circuit can move off. In this case, cohort three moving on to the next activity on land it is, and that's going to be prime cards. There they go. All right, another way to modify an activity is breaking up the circuit or reconfiguring the circuit into a linear track. In this case, I took the entire circuit on the left there and made a track, the track on the right, with the exception of one product that's, that's not in there. So it, 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 it can happen and we can help uh, redesign should you need that help. This way in designing a linear track, it's great because you can delineate a very specific entry. In this case, Camper Rich there is getting up on, onto a step and as they move through then in a one direction play flow, campers can be distanced. You can keep that six feet, uh, the integrity of that six feet spacing. As they get to the end, swimming back around is one, one option there. Or as Camp Ron is going to show you here, he's going to move off and do something different. Now it's time to move on to the paddle wheelers. There he goes. All right, so breaking up circuits into smaller circuits or linear tracks is one way. Uh, another way is to consider single event inflatables. In this case, um, if you're looking for new ideas, you can certainly go with something like the Nautilus. Great for a cohort size of 15. Or similarly, the capacity of the iceberg is at eight. So again, maybe you're looking for a new idea, in which case you might consider single event inflatables. Or again, those circuits can be broken up into making single events. OK, on to some non inflatable ideas. This one is uh, is called the mothership, so it's a super extra large inflatable SUP. Great for cohorting and potting events. In this case, imagine, if you will, a couple of cohorts racing down to the beach. Once they reach the beach. They get their respective mothership, pull out the hand pump and inflate it. Then they grab a paddle and carefully board the mothership, easier said than done. And from there, there might be a race around a buoy, back to the beach, deboarding, and again, to finish off, a race across the finish line. And in this case, we got cohort two for the win. Other uh, cohorting and potting friendly activities, even distancing, so log rolling. Fun to watch and certainly fun to participate in. Uh, the log rolling, the log roll itself actually is 12 feet long, so it is distancing friendly. Corkles, a great single event. Uh, circular kayak essentially is what this is. Stand up paddle boarding, nice tried but true uh, event or activity. Great for programming. 
kayaks lends itself lends themselves very well to distancing. You could shimmy across the water in a wigwag this year. Or maybe it's pedal boats that might uh, draw your interest. <clears throat> but e either way you go, a lot of these water vessels are really great for different programming events. Consider time trials, for example, or a slalom course here where you could time your campers. Relay races are certainly fun. Again, either with slaloming through the buoys or or single buoys to go around. Or maybe it's a medley race. Use those different individual water vessels for medley races. Be as creative as possible. Everyone likes a good tug of war now and then. Put the tug of war on the water. Why not? Or a good old fashioned game of tag. Use a safe beach ball. So everybody has fun and, and everyone's safe. So again, the, the water, the individual water vessels are great for cohorting, potting, and, and really for distancing. All right, so that's it for the waterfront for now. Let's dry off a bit and uh, get out of the land here. Aeroball is new to CRS's lineup. It's great for camp, not just for nice neighborhoods like this, uh, but it's certainly fantastic for camps. It's great, it's fun to watch. Um, so it is cohorting friendly and certainly distancing friendly. Kangaroo jumper, another potting friendly activity, or maybe it's the zoom flume. This is our portable water slide. You do need a water source for it, but it doesn't have to end up in the lake. It can, but it can also be land contained. And our, again, we can help with, with how that's designed and how that works. But great again for potting and cohorting and then certainly distancing. Maybe it's a ninja course. This is a playground course would be fantastic for one direction, linear flow type distancing for the campers. Or maybe it's prime carts. You know, in the case of, of prime carts, I like to recommend a cart path. Doesn't have to be fancy. And it doesn't have to be paved. It could be with, with cones or with flags. It, it can be just a dirt track or short grass. It doesn't have to be paved. The, uh, the benefit to dedicating some space to a track is that it makes it a programmable event and it allows for better control of the activity. From there, it could be individual time trials. Or maybe it's head to head races, either within a pod or against a different cohort. Catch the counselor as another idea. But creativity is really the key here, and we can help with ideas. Disc golf, also new uh, to CRS's lineup this year. We're really excited about this one. We feel it fits really well for camps because we can fit a footprint. We can fit a budget. It doesn't have to be an 18-hole course. It doesn't have to be a nine-hole course. You know, it can be just a few holes, for example. Here, we worked around the ninja course, the cart path, the trees, you know, we can we can fit again. We can make a customizable design to work with your landscape and other amenities that already exist. And what's great about disc golf is that really anyone can play. It, it's not really a high level skill need, so all campers can enjoy it. Now, certain campers will be better than others, and in this case, you probably noticed that Camper Rich might be just a little bit more skilled than Camper Ron. He's taking more of a circuitous route here, but. In the end, again, the point is that really it's not a high level skill event. And again, lastly, we can fit a footprint, fit a budget. OK, on to good, clean fun, as I as I promised. So we can help with disinfecting and protecting. First, in our one two punch, disinfect with concrobium. It's EPA registered at a category four across the board. That's the safest rating that the EPA awards a four. They rate from a one to four and concrobium gets fours across the board. So it's safe, but it's also effective. It's approved to work against SARS-CoV-2. It's on CDC's list N. It's a time-based botanical, so it's green. Safe, effective concrobium. After disinfecting, then protect. Provide an uninterrupted barrier against bacteria, viruses, mold, yeasts, and algae. It lasts up to 90 days. In high traffic areas, I might recommend that you reapply after about 60 days, but it does last up to 90 days, so you save time and money. Lastly, I want to introduce to you 
a value added benefits program called Pro Plus. Great for camps. Pro Plus provides many benefits. Pro financing being the first. Exclusive to camps in 2021, CRS is offering 0% interest financing. Get products now, pay your balance in August after the season. It also includes Pro Rewards, where you can earn up to 18% in additional product on each purchase that you make. It's flexible. Use your Pro Rewards dollars how you want. Pro Specials, get great camp exclusive specials and you can use Pro Financing to pay. It's free to join Pro Plus, but deadlines do apply. So make sure to tell your Sierra specialist to sign me up today. Thank you for your support over the last 20 years. A sincere thank you from Ron and Rich here at CRS, the two owners. Thanks also for listening. Be safe. I'll stick around for questions. Thanks again. OK, so that was COVID friendly programming and you notice there's a little bit of duplicate content in there, but I did see some people coming in um, into the uh, into the webinar uh, after late in the in the from in the first session. So I wanted to run that back um, and I'll, I'll mention one more thing. So in the, the final segment of this, we'll go over some really detailed ways of how you can use your pro awards and basically it's dollars back for you and that you can use them across other products. Um, but I get some specific examples in this last last segment. So um, right now I'd love to be able to take some some questions about the COVID friendly programming, some of the products out there. Hopefully it was it inspired some ideas uh, whether or not you you do work with us, you know, um, to provide recreation for your campers. Uh, doesn't matter. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping to provide some value beyond just uh, product opportunities. I did see that Stacy had asked about how many on the mothership and thanks Pat for for chiming in there. I think I, I'd like to just qualify that answer just a little bit. It really does depend on the campers, right? Uh, so if they're if they're if they're smaller, then you could put more on. If they're if they're bigger, then then you, you fit uh, fewer on. Um, and it also depends on 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 whether or not they're going to control that paddle, right? But the idea there is really it's a programming um, uh, uh, friendly product because you can have that 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 potting race or that the cooperative nature of that and really boarding that with with several campers is easier said than done I meant that what I said there and then and then have those those races um, so it depends on on the the campers a bit um, it does have a 17 I believe it's about a 1700 pound weight limit so keep that in mind <clears throat> um, and with that I'd take uh, any other questions that that may have come up Right here, Andy, I'll get us started here. Um, it's a question regarding the disc golf. Do you need to anchor the disc golf baskets? Oh yeah, good. okay, that's a good question. So so they either come in, in one form with a base on them, uh, sort of a, a ring base uh, for balance, so you don't have to um, anchor them per se with that that option, but the other option is yes, you can anchor them um, into a foot or into, in, into the concrete, but even that option is actually they're removable, so you could uh, you could take the basket, the goal, and and uh, and move it out, uh, say for winterization, for example, or to, to move it to a different location. Um, so you don't have to anchor them per se. You can use the base, uh, but you can also anchor them. So you yeah, have good question in it, and the uh, you know disc golf is great for as I mentioned in the presentation for uh, distancing certainly so, uh, as well as potting. Uh, it's a it's a good way you can fit a footprint and a budget. You can work around your current amenities and and provide a nice course even if you already have a space that has other amenities in it. So we can work on that design with you. Good question. Okay, thanks, Andy. Um, it's a question for you on average. How much would a water inflatable circuit or linear track cost? Yeah, so great question. They they lend well to modularity. So in this last segment, you'll see some some bigger ones. You'll see some smaller ones. Uh, it doesn't have to be a Cadillac. You know, year one. We can help you uh, with a with a three to five year plan for camp. Um, so you can build out as you go. Uh, so we can we can help you. Uh, put something on the water this year. If it's not inflatables, we can do something with you for hundreds of dollars. But if we if we get down to brass tacks here, um, even for a few thousand dollars, and you can you can definitely put something punchy out there within the inflatable realm. So it doesn't 
the, the waterfront we can work with you on in, in putting some some elements out there. It doesn't have to be thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, certainly it can be. We do work with camps that have major parks, but uh, it doesn't have to be that at all. If you want to put a feature out there, say for example, uh, we can we can work with you on your water depths and, and what your goals are to, to pick the best one. OK, um, do you let's see here. Do you need a lake or pond for the zoom flume? And what do you use for the water source? Yeah, so OK, question one, lake or pond. Uh, you you don't have to have a lake or pond. Um, you can actually stop them on a hill. We have a couple ways you can do that. We use what's called a water break and uh, we have some other other recommendations on how to stop them uh, if you're if you don't have a lake or pond. You don't have to. Uh, if you do, though, you can start on the hill and run the, the chutes right into the water and get them sort of a, a zero depth entry once they get into the water. So uh, both are both are just fine and we can work with you uh, with whatever your situation is. Um, as far as water source, people use pumps if they do have a lake or a pond or even a well or really any any water source works. You just need a hose hook up and 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 we can we have more tips for you on, on what to do with the uh, with the hose. Um, even little Johnson's baby shampoo goes a long way, uh, keeps it nice and slippery and it's it's easier on the eye. So uh, we got lots of tips for you. I've been doing this for a long time. So yes, you don't have to have a lake or a pond. OK, all right. Another question on inflatable parks. How do you break up an inflatable park? Um, does CRS do that for customers? Uh, yes, we certainly can. Uh, we have install crews. Uh, they are extremely busy and they, they do have a couple of small windows yet, uh, especially in like that June, I think the early June or mid June time frame. And that's kind of a camp friendly answer uh, for if we were talking to campgrounds right now that that like to be uh, in the water before Memorial Day. It's a little different story, but um, yes, we can help do that um, into we can help design uh, the ultimate uh, break up, if you will, if you would like to um, break up a track or, or, or a circuit. Uh, with respect to water depths, uh, the different features, play flow, safety, those types of things. Um, I think we would be um, a great asset for you if you're looking to break something up and uh, you can hook up with one of the, uh, the specialists here and, and we can design something for you. Okay, great. Okay, I think we have time for one more question. It's about the arrow ball. Can more than two people at a time play arrow ball? Uh, yes, well, uh, there's a there's a two person uh, arrow ball, there's also a four, uh, so that's, there's two options. And so yes, I guess the short answer is yes. Uh, so I guess that makes, that means you could also do three campers because the, the four option would allow three as well, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so yep, for sure. Okay, thanks Andy. I think we're uh, about out of time now or ready to move on to the next. Um, yeah, I think, uh, Kathy, I just wanted to say one thing. I think uh, Ryan had asked a, a question earlier in the first session, and I don't think I addressed it. Uh, he asked something about portability for the sprayers. Uh, the the hand sprayers are are going to be small. Um, it'll hold a couple gallons, up to three, four gallons maybe, but they they can be uh, they can be held in the hand. But the so the battery operated um, uh, pump sprayers and the foggers, even even some electrostatic sprayers actually have a have a backpack feature to them. And so it's nice and comfortable. You look like your Ghostbusters, you know, that kind of deal. So, um, and they're very comfortable. We actually have a fogger uh, that we use. Um, we, we've, we've used battery operated sprayers, so, and they work very well with the, the backpack uh, um, uh, format, if you will. So, sorry I missed that first time around, Ryan, but I hope I addressed that uh, this time. So, OK, this is the last segment then. So it's new products and specials. Um, a, t a little bit of duplicate content in there, but hang with it because I do dive deeper into it illustrating how the Pro Rewards actually works. And again, it's dollars that you get when, when if you do end up doing something with us um, for recreation, you get dollars toward other things. It might be life vests, it might be kayaks, it might be um, corkles, it might be other things. So that's how it works, and I do do some illustration of, of that. Keep in mind that it doesn't have to be a large price tag. I'll say that again. So um, I think we can jump into new products and specials, and I will stay around for Q&A after that's done. Thanks. Hello, everybody. My name is Andy, and I'm with Commercial Recreation Specialists. I'm here to talk to you about what's new in 2021, as well as share some specials and rewards exclusive to camps. I have a lot to cover, and I'll stick around afterwards for some 
questions, I'd be happy to help. I'm going to move fairly quickly. So again, that's why I'll stick around afterward. OK, let's jump into the water and we'll start with Wibbit. Wibbit comes out with new products every single year, which is great for you because you can provide new programming, new experiences for campers. Whether you reconfigure a circuit that you already have or a linear track that you already have, maybe in the pool or the lake, they work on both, or you put out something brand new, Wibbit comes out with, with new things every year and due to its modular design, you can reconfigure. Here we see the dip bars, the spin, the plank, and a couple more in their new uh, new product offering, uh, the bend and the hop, all new this year. They also gave their life jackets a facelift, went with some brighter colors, and Wibbit is now coming out with the water walkers to provide your campers with a little bit more non-slip fun. Okay, also a leader in commercial waterfront inflatables is Aquaglide, coming out with a number of, of new products, a, a bunch of them really. Loki Corner, the Luge Back, the Loki, and the Quarterback. Just to start us off here, and there's the Luge Way 10 and 20, a great uh, piece to to connect between activities. And there's a uh, some unique ways to climb or rest here with the Universal Pavilion or the Universal Archway. Bring the lounge to the water. Uh, you can make it fun as fun to watch things as it is to actually actively participate in them this year with Aquaglide. All right, into pedal and paddle. So we have a new relationship with Paddle Wheeler, uh, a great fiberglass built boat. It'll last you and your campers a long time, whether it's the PW4 or one of the novelties like the Swan, Duck or Dragon. Great way to provide some pedal fun. Thick SUPs went through a facelift. The Tough Tech is now the beach line. The Ace Tech is now the breeze line. Same tough outer shell and same closed cell foam interior. It, if it takes a gash, for some reason, it won't take on water, it won't sink. Then it's on to picking your paddle, right? Uh, you can either get a fixed length paddle now, that's that's new to the line here in, in BIC, or with one of their tried and true adjustables. The, the fixed length is at a very pri uh, price friendly uh, point. All right, water fun. New relationship for us, again, we're really excited about, great for camps, the key log provide some really nice fun and great programming ideas. Uh, great for, for cohorting, potting uh, in the shallow water. Uh, and you can really change things to match the skill level of your log rollers. The three fins, the yellow fins you see on the left hand side there, they're for training. Keep all three of them on, it slows it down the most. Or you can take them off one by one to slow it, to slowly advance to zero paddles, uh, tr fins rather, and that'll provide the most uh, skill requirement uh, for your campers. OK, uh, providing more comfort here on the beach. It's uh, the Oakwood beach chairs or umbrellas. And then now CRS is also manufacturing. We are manufacturing our own safety buoys so we can help you design different activity zones in the water. Shallow zones, deeper zones, swim zones, pedal and paddle, whether it's the maybe it's the aqua or it's the uh, inflatables. So we can provide different skill skill level zones or interest zones, activity zones. OK, let's dry off a bit, get out of the land. Pine carts now doubling up on their fun. You could put two campers on the tracker. It's a tandem. Arrow ball new to our lineup. Uh, great for cohorting or potting. It's also distancing friendly. Uh, you're, you're, you're bouncing on a trampoline and, and throwing a ball into a goal. Kangaroo jumper also new to our lineup about 10 months back, but because of COVID we just couldn't get the word out in time, but there it is. Provide endless hours of jumping fun. All right, now also new to our lineup, disc golf. Excited about this one for camps for sure. What's great about disc golf, there's several several great things. It's a, it's a customizable activity, so we can fit a footprint and a budget. In this case, we put out four goals. And notice we're working around the landscape. We're working around the trees, the hills, the playground there, the cart path, we're staying away from the beach, but we can work to customize whatever it is you, you would like to do. And uh, the other benefit is that really anyone can play. Now certainly uh, some golfers will be better than others and, and some might get holes in one, and, but uh, whereas some others might bounce it around the trees a little bit, uh, but it's not a real high skill need. And again, with disc golf, we can fit a footprint bit of budget. We can design to your goals and your needs. Okay, 
on to good, clean fun. This is about disinfecting and protecting, something that's pretty important to everybody these days. And with us, in, it's about disinfecting with concrobium. That's our one and the one two punch against microbials. Concrobium is EPA registered at a category four across the board. That's the safest rating that the EPA gives for toxicity. It's, it's very safe. And it's safe because it's a time based botanical, it's made from time. Not only is it safe, though, it actually works. It fights the SARS CoV 2. It actually is on CDC's list N. After disinfecting with concrobium, it's on to protecting with Playtech. Provide an uninterrupted barrier against bacteria, viruses, mold, mildew, yeast, and algae. Many different ways to use this product. For example, on SUPs and kayaks, at the beginning of the season, spray it on to protect against algae. At the end of the season, when things, you're about ready to put things um, in for storage for winter, spray it on again, protect against mold. It's great for food surfaces, it's safe for food surfaces, and use it you really anywhere, communal areas, you name it, benches, picnic tables. Both concrobium and Playtech are safe. One, two punch against microbials. Okay, on to special offers and rewards. Introducing Pro Plus, which is a value added benefits program and exclusive to camps in 2021, Pro Financing under the Pro Plus umbrella offers you 0% financing where you get products now and you pay your balance in August after the camp season. Pro Rewards, where you earn up to 18% in additional product on each purchase that you make. It's flexible. You can work with your CRS specialist on how to use your rewards dollars based on your goals and your needs. Or Pro Specials, great camp exclusive specials, and you can use Pro Financing to pay. Lots to offer to you this year. It's free to join Pro Plus. Deadlines apply though, so tell your specialist that you want to be signed up today. Okay, a little deeper dive in to show you how flexible the Pro Rewards are. Let's say, for example, you want to put something on the water. Well, this AquaGlide track would be a great way to provide something uh, for potting, for cohorting, because it, it allows up to 10 campers. It's also great for distancing, and you can preserve that integrity of that six feet spacing because of the one direction play flow. Good for lakes or pools. All right, so this system is 10,600. And in this case, for this show, we are offering 15% on pro awards and additional product. That translates into $1,600. Well, how can you use that? Well, you could use it, say, to get 24 life vests, two kayaks and paddles, and to put out a gallon each of our disinfect and protect package so you can keep everything here protected for the entire season. Well, what if you don't need the life vests and kayaks? Well, well maybe you do something on the land. Get that, get that prime cart fleet jump started. Get a couple of XL4 chargers or round out the fleet you already have. Again, we would include the disinfect protect package and you can keep everything protected for the season. Okay, on to some specials. Now this is a pre-packaged, uh, pre-configured suggestion about how you might use your Pro Rewards. In this case, it's on Wibbit called Wibbit Combo Number One. So you would get the, infl the inflatable system, the Wibbit inflatable system there, and you could also get lower right-hand corner, six kayaks, six paddles, and the Disinfect Protect package. So for, for $20,000 price point, you could serve up to 14 people on uh, on the system, plus another six on the kayaks. Great for cohorting, great for potting. It may be an Aquaglide combo though that you want. And in this case, lower right hand corner, you might go with four XL4 prime carts and the disinfect protect package. It's a little different price point. Maybe you go with the rave combo this year and you get uh, lower right hand corner there, the key log, a key log plus straps and fins, as well as a disinfect protect package to keep all of it protected. Or maybe it's on the left hand side there. You do the, the mothership. It's a great cohorting or potting uh, activity and you can get two motherships and own, earn pro rewards and use those for 12 paddles and a disinfect protect package. On to the right, right side there. You could do key logs, two key logs plus training staff for, for six of your staff. We'll fly out some trainers to train your staff. And with that bundle, with the two key logs and the training, you could get the anchor straps, training fins, 24 life vests, and again, a disinfect protect package. Or maybe you're, you want to go on the land with 
with your activities this year. Invest in some prime cards. You could do five prime cards and get a six for free and the disinfect protect package. Or maybe it's the Zoom Flume. It's our portable water slide where you could get two Zoom Flume shoots and use your Pro Awards dollar, dollars for a water break. If you want to stop them on the land, it doesn't have to go into the water. With that water break, it'll help slow them down. You can stop them on the land. So a lot of flexibility in the Pro Awards. These are just some su suggested examples that we bundled up for you. But again, work with your specialist on what you think is best for your goals and your needs. That's a lot to cover. I'll stick around for questions here. If, if you don't join us for the question session, have a great 2021 20, season, everybody. Appreciate you listening. Thank you. Okay, great. So that was the last segment. That was the new products and specials. I, I, what I really hope came out there was that uh, the pro rewards, is especially in the pro financing. So the pro rewards, um, <clears throat> that is meant to be flexible for you. If you spend X dollars with us for, for camps this year, right now we're offering 15% of whatever the spend is toward other things. And you could use them for with for life vests or corkles or paddles or you know what whatever it is. Um, we want to make sure that we're a resource for you in, uh, in, in whatever it is your, your recreation needs are. Um, and then the financing too, if you caught that, uh, we are offering 0% financing uh, for camps and that's exclusive to camps. We're not offering that to other markets, um, but that is that is uh, for camps. Uh, you saw a number of different things there. So a key log, for example, I mentioned training. You could do a key log bundled with training, but you don't have to do the training. Uh, simply it could it could be just the uh, the key log and we, we can sort of train you over the phone, if you will. Uh, but if you want a specialist to come out and train your your staff, uh, we can we can do that. Um, <clears throat> I did have a question come through the thread, uh, the chat thread earlier about. Um, I mentioned something about I would I would uh, mention something about coverage. I didn't hit that earlier. Um, um, so the the concrobium and the playtech uh, that we've talked about earlier, uh, you want to target about 800 to 1200 square feet per gallon. Um, of coverage and so that's why I do recommend if you can do the electrostatic sprayer it's really great because uh, it will help it here given that the part particles come out charged to the substrate so it'll it'll come out uh, charged and it adheres to the substrate minimizing waste so 800 to 1200 square feet and we can help you estimate how much you'd need uh, we have specialists of course on on our on our team here that can help you estimate that so uh, hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, I'd like to defer Kathy if there's any questions that I can answer um, that may have come of uh, the last segment. Sure. Um, how do camps apply or qualify for 0% interest financing? OK, so yeah, that's really easy. Actually, just work <laughs> with you know one of our specialists here. You can you can call us at that number, the 877 number there uh, or, or email us at info ad. It's very, very easy um, to do that. It's a short form and you'll be ready to go after that. Okay. Good question. question. All right, thanks. Um, can I? There's a second question here on key log. Can I anchor the key log and can it be used while it is anchored? Yes, great question. We don't want the campers floating away across the lake. So if it is a key log or the pool, by the way, it works in a pool as well. Um, you can anchor it, yes, and you can anchor on both ends so you don't get spinning. Uh, and you anchor on both ends, but the, the log does uh, spin like it's supposed to, uh, <clears throat> and like any like log rolling event that you may may or may not have seen. Um, and then if you caught this, the uh, there are training fins for the the key log. There are three training fins. Keep them all on for uh, for the log to slow down the most. It's easiest with all three of them on. And then remove one or two for an intermediate experience, and take them all off once the campers get really good at it. Um, so, but yes, it can be anchored so the log doesn't float away on you and it does still spin like it should. Okay, here's a question on prime carts. Our grounds are a little hilly. Will that work for the prime carts? And how easy, hard are they to pedal? Okay, yeah, we do get that question a lot. Um, so you saw the prime cart path out there. It doesn't have to be paved path, by the way. It can be a, can be a dirt track uh, or dirt area. It can be uh, flat grass. It, it works better on flatter surfaces. A little bit of an incline is fine. Um, I, we do get some some people that design in um, some some purposeful um, bumps or small jumps, if you will. But if you're at a 10%, you know, hill grade or 15%, that's that's that gets tougher to pedal. Um, they're very easy to pedal on flat 
on flat ground. Um, and incidentally, I should mention they have coaster brake with reverse. So even for younger campers, four, five, six, seven years old, um, if it's a day camp, um, they can you, you pedal in reverse. Or, sorry, yeah, pedal in reverse to stop, but then keep pedaling reverse and actually goes backwards. So you can get out of a, a tough spot. So there's a small version, the racer. There's a, a, a teen or um, uh, version as well, and uh, that's the XL4 charger. So uh, we can cover most ages in there. It really depends on the the length, the leg length of the camper. Okay, thanks, Andy. Um, question on the pro rewards. Suggested pro rewards for specials. What does suggested mean? Yeah, so in that last um, segment, what, what we did was we pre pre-configured some packages together. So let's say if you're if you're, if you if you're interested in the key log, we 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 packed package that in with with uh, the training, and we put in some we bundled in some life vests. Um, so again, it's it, they're just they're pre configured suggestions, if you will, but it's meant to be flexible. So if you are willing, if you're looking for recreation items from us, we'll give you dollars for and flexible, flexible dollars to be spent in other areas, things that you'll still need and you don't have to go spend, send the money elsewhere. OK, got a question on the key log. Um, how easy is the key log to set up? Um, how many people do you need? Yeah, so you can you could probably even do it with one person. Um, it is about 40 pounds and you fill it with water once you're down at the in the pool or in the lake. Uh, there are funnels that come with it, special funnels. You open up a little secret compartment and you you, you put the water in um, that way. Um, again, it's only 40 pounds. It's deceptively uh, light. It's not like a red cedar log, guys. I understand they they weigh they can weigh um, many, many hundreds of pounds. So it's only 40 pounds and it's it's really easy to do. Incidentally, I'll um, I'll uh, I'll stick around here afterwards. So if, if if you would like to unmute and and ask a question that way, I'm I'm happy to to answer uh, anything that you have. So um, we're a couple minutes short of our of our hour. I want to respect your time. Uh, be happy though to stick around and answer any questions about anything or even outside of what you've seen. Uh, and we can we can jump into that right now if anybody has anything. Incidentally, too, while you're if uh, thinking about your questions, if you have anything, um, Kathy has posted some resources within the thread, the chat thread there, and you might have to scroll up just a little bit. She's got some camp-tastic resources. We have a page dedicated to camps uh, for some of this information. Um, uh, there's a financing uh, page, and we will also, just as a reminder, we will we will also be sending out uh, a link to this recording if you um, if you missed anything and. Uh, be happy to be happy to answer questions uh, after you watch it watch it again so anybody have any questions you want to unmute and i'd be happy to have a live dialogue about whatever that might be and if not um if not i just want to wish you again in earnest my excitement and excitement for you and for the kids it's just so fantastic that camp a lot of camps not everybody um, but most camps are reopening so i'm I'm delighted to to know that and to to be able to provide a uh, resource to uh, to you. And so with that, I guess uh, if I don't have any other questions, we'll end it right on the right on the nose here in an hour. Have a great 2021 camp season, everybody. Let us know if we can help. Take care.